Please tell me you've seen Holes. You know, the movie with Shia LaBeouf where he's digging holes. They eat something called sploosh. Okay, today, we're gonna make a peach onion salsa. We're just gonna start with cutting our peach, but I'm gonna just kind of like avocado it. See if that works. Oh snap, okay, that's not working. I'll be right back. I found success with like cutting it like that. And then this part just kind of like pulling off like that. It's not pretty, but it'll do. I want pickled peaches. And um, that video, I was gonna turn peach pits I was left over with into some sort of vinaigrette. And that's when I found out that they're like poisonous and like cyanide, I think. I don't know, but I don't, I don't mess around with peach pits anymore. So I'm gonna throw them. That's where my trash is. I didn't just throw it on the ground. I'm not like that. Oh my God, I just figured it out. So you see how there's like, you know, the peach butt. So last time I cut on the peach butt. This time I cut away from the peach butt. And then I was able to just spin it and open it. So I think this is how you're supposed to open a peach. Now my plan is to chop up these peaches and I'm going to do that through editing. So let's just... I wish transitions like that worked in real life. Really, I just sat here and I diced this up, contemplating why I hadn't peeled it before I cut it, and then contemplating all my life choices up until this point when I was cutting up these peaches. And then I was also contemplating why I didn't just get jarred peaches. I think it's gonna be better because I got real peaches. It better be. But now we're gonna cut up some onions and we're gonna add some onions to this. I'm gonna add, I don't know, eyeball it, and four peaches, and this is probably like half of an inch half of an onion uh my husband's literally grinding meat in the kitchen now so we're gonna switch over to uh me not live talking and i'll just voice over from here on out so i've never really made a salsa with this kind of flavor profile before because we're gonna add some spices like nutmeg cinnamon and ground cloves and those are just things that i've never really added to a salsa before so i really was not sure how this was going to turn out now i don't think it would be sploosh if it didn't come in a jar like this so i'm going to add this to this jar and then we're going to let it sit in the fridge and just kind of you know let all those flavors meld together making sploosh was kind of like a childhood not a dream but almost like a childhood dream to me. I always wanted to try it from Holes, and I can't believe that now I'm an adult who just gets to make sploosh when she wants to. Also, this wasn't real carrot cake. It was just coffee-flavored carrot cake. And, you know, I got to reuse my lid, so we're just going to make it say sploosh. It's going to be okay. But this tasted so good. It was a much sweeter salsa than I thought, but in the end, I loved the flavor profile. I think it would be really good on top of some fish if I baked it in the oven. So that just makes sploosh 10 times more versatile.